you know, the reality is I think that most people don't give a fuck about your movie and your series. And I don't mean that in a boohoo sense or uh, down in the people that really do follow you and do really do watch your stuff. That's different. I'm talking about most people that I will see you on a link somewhere. You know, I hear it all the time and I've done it for years as well. Oh, this movie has to be made. This story has to be told. And that doesn't, you know, there's, there's tons of movies, there's tons of series, there's an abundance. If you go to Netflix and Amazon each night, there's so much stuff to see. There's a lot of junk as well, you know, and there's a lot of room for good stuff. But there's an abundance of entertainment and content. It's hard for us to get to see stuff that we names in it and we budgets and big production value never mind where it's uh, Mr Nobody here got his film out there and his series out there and deluding yourself thing everybody's waiting to see this now what I mean by that is is that you should be invested in your film or your project you should be really passionate about it absolutely 100% you know you shouldn't be down in it or whatever you should be caught up in it as if it's the next fucking Citizen Kane I don't even mean that it should be the next project you're doing to learn but what I mean by it is I think at the start which just took me years to learn this that if you're selling your project your project your project get involved with the project the project project I think people want to see your story you know they want to be invested in your story they want to see your passion they want to see your energy they want to see you successful over time or they want to see car crashing completely fail because people are bastards as well that's what they want to see that's what I want to see and that's why I don't see a lot of filmmakers online and myself included I don't see their story I don't see their ups and their downs and the struggles that they're sharing it's all very much behind the scenes it's very much and ironically the people that are sharing their fucking lives are the people that I'm not interested in most of the time you know whether it's somebody who walks in a fucking donut place and they're showing us a whole series about how to make fucking donuts and their life about making donuts and how they've got a donut fucking house and donut wallpaper you know I don't want to see everyday reality bullshit boring fucking mundane stuff I want to see the extremes of life I want to see people going for high stakes poker I want to see people going for the impossible almost impossible fucking dreams and even if they fail I want to see how they do that I want to see how they deal with it and I think that's what people want to see at the start when they're supporting you you know because I watch a lot of documentaries and they no always about subject matters I'm interested in. I watch documentaries about sports people, I'm not really interested in sport, but if the person inspires me, I watch documentaries about bands and stuff, and I don't necessarily need to like the band or the singer to follow and watch the documentary. I'm inspired by people and people's stories. And that's what I want to get, uh, really, I've been talking about this for years, but I realise how important it is now. It's took me this time to realise how important it is. Like, the next time, my next project, Crime Lord series. Crime Lord series, I'm invested in, I can see the future in it. I can see so many novels side by side where I can see it growing into a bigger thing over the years. I don't expect people to see that bigger picture. I just expect people to see, oh, here's another little one rain series. But it's my goal to build that. But I think what people can be invested in at the start is seeing how you're going to build it and how your ups and downs. And you can make a lot of content doing that. When you're making a film or a series, you can only make so much content that can get people's interests. So I think it's that story, your personal story, and your personal brand and your personal journey that people want to see. It's kind of obvious, you know, but we don't all do it and I haven't done it for years. And that's what I want to put more time into. Um, when I'm launching my crowdfunding campaign for Crime Lord, you know, a lot of behind the scenes stuff will be raw and will be real stuff that I've never really been done before and charting the whole journey of how to do it. Um, because that is probably what people are interested in more at this time to see. And then if your series becomes a big success one day, then of course people are going to discover it in five years time and go, this is pretty cool. And they watch the series and get caught up in that. And they don't need to see behind the scenes stuff as much. In a way, I kind of like that. I kind of like that the radar is not really on me because I want the years to be able to work away at being good at this and get something that's good and people can discover it in years ahead. But you need supporters at the start and those supporters at the start, I think have got to be invested in you as a person. They've got to believe in you and got to see your struggle in your personal series that they can watch. Thanks for everybody that's been watching this, retweeting, liking my stuff, sharing, backing me in the past. Really appreciate it. Have a great week. Thanks a lot.